hydrolyzed collagen. This is your chapter, your note number 33. Now, what is collagen? Collagen is the largest, most abundant protein in your body. It makes up everything in your body. Scroll down to the chapter called Hydrolyzed Collagen. It starts out with this little five-minute video clip, and then it's a complete chapter. Collagen makes up everything in our bodies. All the structures of our bodies are, the, the ground substance is collagen. That's the matrix. Arteries, joints, organs, muscles. You don't have to write this down. It's in the chapter. S skin, tract, tendons, heart, ligaments, lungs, bones, and any other structures that you can imagine. Now the problem is, as we age, collagen production falls way off. This accounts for the floorward tendency that we've all noticed in our structures, prolapses, muscle sagging, facial sagging, skin sagging. And this floorward tendency doctors call ptosis. Okay, especially women, when they get older, they get the bat wings thing going on. We have all taken hundreds of A to P lumbar x-rays by now. Start looking at the colon. Start looking at the colon, and then you'll see this prolapse. I mean, it's supposed to, it's supposed to go like this. Ascending, transverse, descending. I mean, look how it's, it, it's sagging down. Prolapse uterus. Anything that prolapses, this, this is the cause of it. A decrease of collagen matrix as we age turkey neck, gobble gobble, and uh, what is it? Crow's feet. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was really hard to get this picture. <laughs> in the past years, we d we've discovered that its popularity, not just in the United States, but all over the world, is, is geometric. First of all, where does it come from? That is extracted from cattle hides. Okay, so they call it splits. You know the splits thing? So here's the, here's the hide. So they have a method of splitting the inside from the outside of the skin. The outside of the skin goes to the leather makers. The inside of the skin is made into hydrolyzed collagen. You know how like little kids, they like to, to munch on a, a drumstick? They want that gristle. Little kids, they always want that gristle and your dog wants that too. They sense the need for collagen. That's what that is. In the past 25 years, they have started refining a dietary supplement, hydrolyzed collagen. There's a cheap way to do it, and then there's a more expensive way to do it. When I first came into this field of awareness, this was like about 15 years ago, and I went over to Paris to study with a company, and uh, they were teaching me about this, and they said the value of hydrolyzed collagen supplement has to do with the size of the molecule. The, the end result size of the molecule. Molecular weight is measured in a unit called molecular weight is measured in a unit called Dalton's, right? I wanted to see what was the, you know, because it, it was starting to appear in GNC and it was starting to appear in health clubs and everything. I wanted to see how big was the molecule. So I would call up these companies and I, I had the number for this one company and they were a clearinghouse for they did private labels for like 25 other different companies in the Western United States, but everybody used the same collagen, and then you, you paid them, and they would make your label in which you could claim superiority over all the other 25, right? But it's the exact same stuff in there, right? Get, kept getting transferred on the phone to one guy, one guy, another guy. I was looking for the scientist because I want to ask him this question. Finally, this guy comes on the phone. He goes, yep. And I go, uh, hi, uh, Dr. Tim O'Shea here. I'm just wondering, can I talk to the scientist, the formulator? He goes, you got him. And I go, just wondering, sir, could you t please tell me what is the molecular weight of your collagen? And he goes, it's 45,000 Daltons. And I said, thank you very much, sir. Click. The source that we have been using all this time has, has been on the average of 3,000 Daltons. So right off the bat, irrespective of source, it was 15 times more bioavailable at the cellular level. This accounted for the dramatic effects that people were getting. The original manufacturer uh, used heat and acids to cleave the, the large molecules into smaller peptides. For the high-end hydrolyzed collagen, I discovered that the best companies, they, they used enzymatic hydrolysis after that first step, and they did it eight times. So that's what accounted for the small molecular weight and the high bioavailability. What I'm doing now is I'm giving you uh, excerpts from my chapter on hydrolyzed collagen, so I'm really expecting that everybody reads that. It's going to save you a lot of time, and you're going to be amazed what you read there. 
It contains all essential human amino acids except tryptophan, which include, you don't have to write this list down, it, again, it's a, in the chapter. Here are some of the 20 amino acids contained in collagen, so everything except tryptophan. So it's providing your body with its own building blocks of collagen, of new collagen, building blocks of new collagen. Athletes are concerned about it. They want lean muscle gain. Bodybuilders are obsessed by lean muscle gain. So they go, well, they think, oh, well, I need protein. And so they think of r red meat or clean meats, cleaner meats like white meats, like clean. breast of turkey, breast of chicken. That's true. That's true. Those are protein sources, but they're very, they're very dense, complex protein sources. And your body has to expend a lot of metabolic energy to break that dense animal protein down into its component peptides so that your body can reassemble that into your own new lean muscle tissue. But this hydrolyzed collagen, all that work is done. The building blocks are already there. You blend that up in orange juice or a smoothie and drink that in the morning. It's in your bloodstream within 30 minutes. Collagen is a triple helix molecule, right? So, but they learn to break it into shorter pieces and then to separate the three helices from each other and then further hydrolyze that and divide it, right? The resulting short individual peptides make up hydrolyzed collagen, okay? Cleaving peptides in a section is known as hydrolysis. Okay, we already know that. Now, what are some applications for hydrolyzed collagen as a supplement? As I said, lean muscle gain, muscle tone. As, as we age, especially if we don't exercise, uh, skin toning and thickening. That's all the women who take collagen, even, that's usually not the reason they did it. They, most of them did it for joint problems. But they all say that. They say, my hair thickened, yeah. my nails got harder, yeah. and the skin of my face got, got thicker. They all say that. Joint rebuilding is the number one reason why most people in America take hydrolyzed collagen. But it also strengthens the arteries because that's, that's exactly what aneurysms are. You, we lose ground substance as we age, that, that applies to the arteries. The ar arteries, the uh, three layers of the arteries, there's muscle in there too. It, it gets weaker and thinner and less substantial as we age. And so I was wondering, well, you know, I have a whole section called To the Heart Patient in which I show people how they can lower their blood pressure, normalize their blood pressure, and stop taking the five, the cocktail of heart medications. You ever notice this? No, we were doing these. DOT physicals. Do you guys do that for truck drivers? Uh, chiropractors do that in, in California, right? So all these truck drivers are coming in, big dudes, you know, and they have to have this freaking card that says that their heart won't explode while they're on the highway or whatever. So, you know, we can do that. And then, I'm, I, so I'm doing medical histories and all these guys and like, anybody on high blood pressure medication, they, there's, a, there's a cocktail of five heart medications. They're all taking it, right? And you, you know what they are, you know, there's the Lipitor, the water pill, and the other three. So, the, but the most amazing thing to me was, it was like, I'd take their blood pressure, these dudes' blood pressure was like 190 over 100, and they've been taking these five medications for the last five years, and I'm going, dude, no, I'm thinking, why, how do they get these guys to keep taking this stuff when this is the result? So the point here is that many patients who have heart conditions when they begin to take hydrolyzed collagen, very often they will say that their blood pressure is normalizing and they don't feel as though they have to take as much medication for their heart condition. The connection between the heart and hydrolyzed collagen supplementation is explained completely in the two chapters on the website. The first one is to the heart patient and the second one the second chapter is called Hydrolyzed Collagen.